We camp, we hike, we bike at night, we kayak with all our might. But most of all, we make memories on Bird Rock Vlog. been here all weekend and now we are going to show you around the park and some of our favorite spots so right when you pull into the park um, this is the visitor center this is where you will go in to check into your cabins and campsites tent sites if you're going to register for the hiking tent camping um, this is where you will come this is, this the is also center. where you can uh, can get some wood firewood yes firewood if you didn't bring any uh, it's five dollars I think per bundle mm -hmm. and each bundle's got at least eight pieces and it's also got some smaller starters it's really pretty good dry you keep it dry so so there is a Devil's Den State Park store that has all your essentials but then you go to the visitor center to get your passport book stamp and grab some firewood you leave the visitor center you turn left and um, up here you got a left to go to cabins 1 through 10 and right for 11 through 18 we'll go back through 11 through 18 on the way back through Coming up on cabin number one here. It appears to be a little bit smaller. And then over here on our left is cabins two and three. There's people loading up all their stuff. Oh no, cabin two is on the right. Yeah, it's cabin two is on the right. Cabin, cabin three, three, four, four and five. five. Yeah, it's right there. My parents rented a two bedroom uh, for the weekend, and I think they come in one bedrooms. I'm not sure if they come with more than that, but I'll just do a quick panoramic there's the road in there's a small cabin there the road to more little cabin over there you got one there there's one behind this one and then this is number three cabin three that my parents rented so let's go take a look inside you ready to go take a look yeah that's the wrong one bro oh. this one uh, yeah Probably should have brought the uh, 
wind boom, but okay. So, first feature is this nice little sitting area out front. You see my wife enjoying that. Uh, one thing that is awesome is that it is pet friendly and they actually have a bag and trash station. My parents brought their dogs, so that's uh, part of the appeal was that they could bring the, the pup. We can walk around the back side here, take a look at the, the back. Okay. It's a nice little picnic table area. The built-in grill. And then a pathway up to the other cabin. So, uh, not much else to see back here, but we do have a nice little private eating area. And then you got a side door. I think that's probably permanently locked because they've got a keypad. Maybe it's not. We'll check it inside. All right. Parking's over there. And now we will venture inside. You want to open the door, bud? Yep. It, it got a password. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Why don't you try opening it? Oh. So here we are. Got a nice uh, couch seating area, some nice rockers. It's very cabiny. So there's uh, you know, beams up there, there's wood everywhere, wood paneling. Got TV just because, you know, why not? Uh, looks like dish. Cool fireplace. Hey, Britt. There's a, uh, these are open until March every year. And then they uh, open them back again when it gets cold again. I don't know when they open them back up, but it's padlocked right now. It's uh, first of May. Let's see if this door opens. This was that side door. And it does in fact open. Yeah. So that's how you get there. Buddy, get back in here. Let's go. What's the matter with you? Hey, where are you going? Okay, see ya. Okay, kitchen, more paneling, but uh, it's got your necessities here. Oh, look who's back. Hi. All right, here's your air fire escape plan, because all houses need those. Uh, you can go through the front door or the side door or any window. It's handy knowledge. Bathroom. Nice little tub shower. Oh, it's a jetted tub. Fancy. You got your uh, fire extinguisher in case there's a fire. This is probably closet. First bedroom. Again, everything has got that cabiny wood feel. Pretty cool. There's me. Desk. Bed. Couple of uh, windows. And then uh, we'll take a pause here because it looks like that bedroom is occupied. Okay, as promised. Bedroom. Number two. Again, we got our nice rustic cabiny feel. And uh, another window facing the road. And the parking area. So overall pretty nice you know it's nothing fancy but that's not what you're looking for when you rent a cabin i don't feel like it's all about the where's your water heater dang that's a big one for this small little cabin uh, oh look an iron amber doesn't know how to use one of
of those, but I'm sure someone who stays here might. <laughs> All right, to the people that stayed here, what do you think? How'd you like it? Thumbs up. Thumbs yeah, up. Yeah? Yeah. Thumbs up. Yeah. Um, you we, do have we to talk. No Wi-Fi, so. Yes, that's a yeah. good call out. There is a there is dish TV, but there is no Wi-Fi. Not that you necessarily need like something like that here, but there isn't any. There isn't any cell service, or uh, no cell service, no Wi-Fi in the cabins. There is. Wi-Fi at the campsites uh, in case you need it. It's pretty cheap. Uh, it's not great. You can't stream anything on it. But you know, when we camp, we typically try to stay away from all that stuff. But when you're camping with people, it's nice to communicate. We couldn't do that this time. So. And there is a phone. Um, There's so a what? There is a phone. Uh, so it's a landline. A yep. landline to call from cabin to cabin. Or 911. Yes. And it's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. Thank y'all for being I, I can say that I'm the good child because I didn't move away eight hours away and miss all of the important events in everybody's life. So He's here for us. I'm not going to say who I'm speaking of, but you know who you are. <laughs> they all seem to be varying sizes. I'm sure they will explain it on the website what's what, but some bigger, some smaller. There's cabin six. Cabin six looks to be by itself in the woods. That one would be a cool one to have. Yeah. Does it's tucked back in there? Over here on the right is cabin seven, I would presume. Yep. Right on this turn, and yeah, cabin six is completely by itself back there. All right, yeah, cabin seven. Cabin 8. Checkout is at 11, so that's why you're seeing everyone load up. Cabin that's 11, 11 for the cabins and 3 p.m. for the campsites. Campsites and tents. Cabin 10. And we are done on this loop. Here's the 11 through 18 loop. So now we are coming through here. Um, it's farther down the hill. We are, again, uh, I'm sure we've told y'all, this is this Mother's Day weekend 2021. You can see how green everything is. It is really, really pretty. Looks like the cleaning crew right there. Yep. This is cabin 11. These are a lot smaller cabins. They're super cute. Cabin 12. Cabin 12. And cabin 14. There's a really small one right there. Uh huh. Cabin 15. 15. You just want a little getaway. This looks to be perfect. I really like these the ones that are kind of by themselves. And then you've got 17 on top of the hill. That one looks newer. That does look newer. And then you've got cabin 18. These two, these two, these look, two look really new. New, yeah. Unless they just redone them. And then you go down the hill. Down the hill, I believe, takes you to the park and pavilion area, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there's the pavilion. Yes. And that's also the store, right? No, the store's down okay. more. I will say this about 
Look, there's an old fireplace. Oh, there is an old fireplace. About 10 years ago, my family rented cabins up here and we did our pav uh, family reunion at the pavilion and it was so much fun. It was definitely one of our favorite family reunions. Um, there is a bridge, if I believe right, um, we have not done the lake trail, but I believe that's the trailhead. Here's the, uh, There's the, the butterfield. butterfield. Okay, so this is a really cool trail. Um, do you want to get out and talk to them about this real quick? I can. Yeah, yeah it's super cool. We actually had two guys come to our campsite um, yesterday that just finished the Butterfield. So this is the uh, Butterfield hiking trail and um, it's 15 miles. It's a big, big one. And we did have two guys that came through by our camper yesterday and they were they were very much looking like that it's a uh i think you can i think you can uh camp on it mm, oh look look at that it does there is it does exist we've been going through uh, the drone laws because i got a drone i didn't understand anything and there actually is an emblem for no drone so i'll be on the lookout for that uh, good thing is they do allow water on this trail because it's 15 miles. That would have been awful. And shoes. It's always good to be able to have water and shoes when you're hiking. But anyways, it just says uh, challenge yourself as you traverse the rugged landscape of the remote Ozarks. Butterfield Hiking Trail is named for one of the longest stagecoach routes in the history of the United States. The Butterfield Overland Stage. This trail begins and ends in Devil's Den State Park, but more than 10 miles of the trail crosses into the Ozark National Forest. Backpacking and overnight camping are common activities on this trail. All right, so now we are back on the review. And um, it is Sunday, so I would say Sunday's a good day to come here. Yesterday was absolutely crazy busy yeah. <laughs> you couldn't find a parking spot this is a uh, very well thought of and, and uh, widely used state park i think it's one of the like, just for instance we were lucky enough to get a camping spot here but we looked last night to try to get another one because we want to come back you know as soon as possible and the first open weekend was november 19th and it's may right now so super tough to get in in arkansas state parks um you can book your campsites one year in advance so that, um keep that in mind all right so there's the pavilion yes already getting full at 10 yeah. um you can kind of see the waterfall yeah this is the spillway um, it's uh on our last vlog, you saw us go down and um, take some pictures and look around the spillway. So I will put the link in the last vlog below. But right here is the store and cafe, and it also has a little pavilion area. And then you've got your pool. The pool is not open. The pool opens Memorial Day to Labor Day. So we are in the store. And they have ice and just the bare minimums in here for sure but if you did forget something you can find something to make it work we got our sticker we'll put that on the camper later and you can see they have a lot of clothes some games oh yeah bingo game some ice cream. A nice little store. But if you want stickers, t-shirts, or anything, you come to the, the store and not the visitor centers. A lot of the state parks in Arkansas, you go to the visitor center, but this one actually has a store, so yeah. they had it separate. So to the right here, just about, I don't know, 100 yards is the visitor center and the mm -hmm. cabin loop we just took. That we just took. Now we're gonna go left. Now we're gonna go left toward
towards the camp areas. Camp areas and trails. A lot of the trails are this way. So again, um, on last week's vlog, we did Devil's Den Trail. Um, and so this is where we walked yesterday to get to the trail. So um, again, this the whole entire parking lot was full. Yeah, this is the the start of the Devil's mm -hmm. Den Trail. Right awesome, here. awesome trail. Yeah, this is a great, great trail. I highly recommend Devil's Den Trail. So that's the, and it's a loop. Uh, again, I'll look, link last week's vlog below. And you come out right here. Those people just finished. Right here is Lee Creek. Running so really good. Right up here is, uh, take a right. And this will take you to the tent camping area. So we are coming on to camp area A. This is tent only sites. Um, so right down here. In 1,000 feet, Whoops. slight left. We have our GPS going. This looks like some more day use parking and area. Yep, people getting geared up for uh, a, hike. a hike. Yellow Rock Trail. Oh, that's Yellow Rock, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, that's the, they, they, what we've heard is the two uh, premier trails here are Yellow Rock, which we just passed, and then Devil's Den, which we uh, we actually did in our last vlog. So we'll come back and do Yellow Trail. Yellow Tail or Yellow Trail? Yellow Trail. Yellow Trail. Mm -hmm. You can see Lee Creek, it's so pretty. But right here is the campsites. It doesn't like to have any electric, sewer, or water. There's some water. Is there water? Uh, but they look like they're just common spots. Okay. So you'll get water in your common areas. Yeah, like out in the middle. Mm -hmm. Middle right down there. And they do um, have some uh, hike-in tent, tent sites. Eight of them, yep. Eight of them right there. And that is part of the Lee Creek Trail. Somebody didn't put out their fire. Let's take a little look at that. Um, let's it. Note to self, always, always, always put out your fires. That's what you fair. <laughs> oh yeah, it's still pretty hot. Know that I know that that was a good deed, but that was my water. <laughs> hey, we just we just saved a wildfire. I'm really thirsty. <laughs> Looks like some mountain bikers getting ready to hit the trails. I think it's going to be a really. There's the brand new trail. Is that it right there? Yeah, that opened three days ago. Uh -huh. So also flat. Is what it's called? Is that what it's called? Monument. You've got your common bathhouse right here on the right. Their bathhouses, Arcan all Arkansas State Parks, I will give them credit. They have great bathhouses. You've got Coke machines in your informational area. There's a lot of spots back in here. There is a lot of spots. It's a lot of, it's a lot of people sharing the same bathroom. <laughs> <clears throat> They're probably just happy okay, to be Okay, so there, yeah, there, there is the blue diamonds on that tree. So this is part of the big 
Butter, was it Butterfield? Butterfield. The big Butterfield 15 mile trail. So we're headed to the horse camp. It's right uh, past Campground E. You can bring your horses, horse trailers, and camp with them. And they also have some designated horse trails that you can ride. Um, let's see here. It looks like electric and water, but I believe there's no sewer if I remember right. Which way do we go? Um, let's go left. Or let's go right. <laughs> This is actually really cold back in here. Yeah. It's secluded. These poor people right here, they had, thought they had it all to themselves. And <laughs> here come these city folk in a white four hundred driving right past their camp. They look like they may be out riding right now. Yep, they have a little wash bay area. Oh, that's cool. You can wash everything. Yeah. Just wash everything. Oh, well, mm. like wash all the stuff you need for your horse. It's actually like really cold back in here. Yeah, it is really. And there is a big groundhog. Where? In this next wash bay. Oh, there it is. Look at this. Well, there is a crimp hog. Awesome. <laughs> that smells The Glory King and Vista Point, eight miles and approximately seven miles. That's cool. So yeah, that's really neat. And then they also have their bathhouse. So yeah. We should buy a horse. <laughs> I don't think we should buy a horse. So we are coming in to Campground E. Right here there is two bathhouses. Right here's the first one on the right. And then um, you will take, uh, on the left is campsite 52 through 78, and on the right is 79 through 97. Oh, you can see ours. Right there is ours, 79. And then we will head this way. 52 is the first one. And there's n no bad campsite, I don't feel like. Here. No, this is like most state parks. They're they're so spread out, and you have so much space in between the campsites. It's uh, there really isn't a bad one. The creek does run behind uh, these campsites on this side, and a lot of these campsites have trails that take you straight to the creek. My favorite one is gonna have to be like. 60 or something. You like, you 60. like 60? Yeah. I like the field. Mm -hmm. There is a um, softball field. Yeah. Yes, right here on the left, um, we're coming up um, to a softball field. On like last week's video, you saw, um, saw us playing softball, and that was a really fun feature. We haven't had a softball field in the state park yet, and that was a lot of fun to play. But yeah, I mean, you can see how roomy these sites are. They all come with tent pads. And then um, we are coming up to the second bathhouse right here. You got two trails, the woody plant trail and the lake trail. Oh, you can get to the lake trail from here. So we need to do that one. Yeah, I didn't know it was cool. I didn't either. It doesn't look like they all have tent pads. Just some of them. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, let's correct myself there. Not all of them have tent pads.
but they are really roomy. They are, for sure. Some of them have two parkings. Again, this is Sunday, so a lot of people are starting to pack up. Um, Checkout time and check-in time is 3 p.m. <clears throat> that's new this year, and that's beautiful. They mm -hmm. used to do check-out at 11, but what? 3 gives you an extra four hours to explore and kind of get an extra day out of the camp trip, uh, especially if you're close enough to home where you can, you can do that. Yes. So now we will take y'all through campsite 79 through 97. I really do like our campsite 79. Um, it was easy to watch the kids play. It was just right in the middle of everything. Note 83, 85, and 87, your, uh, your picnic tables are below. So some people like to have the, camp, the picnic tables right next to your camper, but those three sites, um, you'll take some stairs to get to it. And it looks like that it's, uh, it is pretty variable whether sites have tent pads or not. Yes. Some do, some don't. But they do all seem to have full hookup. Yeah, they're all full hookup. Y'all like staying at Devil's Den? It's awesome. It's as advertised. Um, yeah. It's our second time camping, uh, first time first on our time own. Camper, yeah. And uh, it's awesome. It's a great one. It's all the state parks seem to be pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, but this one is. It's only 50 miles away from where we live, and it's an easy get off work on Friday and shoot down here, spend a couple of relaxing days, and explore yeah. and then you can be home by a reasonable time when you get done yeah. it's it's a great park if you want to see what we did here at devil's den um i will put the comment uh the link in the comment below it was last week's vlog and we hope you will come to devil's den one time and enjoy what we did this weekend ready to sign off ready to sign off yeah all right don't forget to like this video and subscribe and hit that notification bell and until next time Never stop exploring. Bye, guys.